Hey everybody, it's Erin from Katata Science Center. And I wanted to show you about what our fifth graders learn about energy transfer. Sometimes it can be called heat transfer. I've got some materials from the Science Center, but you can also replicate this activity with just a metal can and a plastic cup. Just two different materials. And you'll need a little bit of ice. Pick two uh, pieces of ice that are about the same size. And I've got these two different materials that are just like this. This one's metal and this one's made out of something that's like plastic or foam. And when you touch them, they feel different. This one feels cool and this one feels warm. But they're actually the same exact temperature because they've been in the same room. It's about 72 degrees in here, so they're both about 72 degrees. But they feel different, just like this cup does in this can. This feels cold and this doesn't feel cold. And it's because of the material that they're made out of. One of them transfers heat from my fingers into the material better, this one does, and then this one. So I feel a loss of heat when I touch this one, but not this one. That's because this, this metal is a good conductor, which is one of the really good words that they learn about conduction. is one of the three types of energy transfer. And so... A lot of times they would assume that because this one feels cooler, it would melt the ice faster. And we'll put this on here and see what happens. This metal one is melting it much faster because it's transferring the energy from the 72 degrees block into the 32 degrees ice cube. While this is an insulator made out of foam, so it's not transferring the energy as well. It's very similar to what you could do at home with just a can where this is melting very quickly. I've got a pot of water boiling and I'm going to put some macaroni noodles in there. And we're going to watch and see if those let us be able to see the pathway that the water is making. We're looking for this, these macaroni noodles to go in a circular pattern. I can see them going. They're almost kind of swimming, floating. They're rising up to the top as they um, heat up. And then when they cool back down, they sink back down. And that is a prime example of convection. Another good example of energy transfer in gases is if you have a box any kind of way like this, you could make one of these at home, but it would require quite a bit of effort. But if you have a source of heat in there, these atoms that are around this flame are going to be heating up and having more energy, moving faster. They're going to be spreading apart because that's what um, faster atoms do. They take up more space and spread apart. And this air right here is going to become less dense than the air around it, and it will rise. Very similar to a density column that younger grades might make. You've got the more dense things on the bottom and the less dense things at the top. Just like this marshmallow we know is not very dense. So this air not being as dense to the air around it would rise. If that air rises, something's going to have to take its place and it's going to be cool air from nearby, which could come in through this tube right here. But this is a pretty lame trick because you can't see anything. But I have this really special little tool that makes smoke, which is just basically visible air. And this is already convecting, but this is going to let us see what this air is doing. So that air is going up and this air is going down. Look at that down there on the bottom. And eventually it'll come out this other side.
The third type of energy transfer that we talk about is radiation. The main source of radiation is the sun. It emits different radiation waves like gamma rays, radio waves, x-rays. Even visible light is a type of radiation. And you can see my stovetop heating up. It's now emitting light. It's glowing red and hot. But I do not have to get very close to this before I can feel heat coming. About right here. I can feel heat coming off of it. And that's not from conduction because I'm not touching it or convection, but radiation.